Welcome. Welcome to our economics class. This video we're going to talk about inflation and price levels. Inflation is the process of persistent increase in the price level. That basically means that a lot of things that you are buying in the stores are becoming more and more expensive, meaning that the value of that dollar diminishes and diminishes from year to year. What that means is that using the same amount of dollars, as you see $20 here, only brings you less and less and less products that you can buy in that store from one year to another as the prices of those products increase with inflation. Inflation is, of course, costly economically for the society. For that reason, we want to know something about inflation, at least as the consumers. So, in our way of studying inflation, we, of course, need a measure for inflation. And um, actually, there are several different ways to measure inflation, such as consumer price index, for example also often abbreviated as CPI. This is the most common measure of a price level, and uh, this is the most common index that is used to measure inflation. Although there are a lot of other indices as well that are often used to measure different kinds of inflation as they relate to different types of entities, such as producer price index, for example. It's somewhat similar to consumer price index, but it mainly looks at the products that producers, rather than consumers, tend to buy. So, uh, looking at consumer price index for this class today, it's basically an average cost indexed to some number, an average cost of a basket of goods and services that a typical consumer usually buys. And of course, a typical consumer buys a lot of different things. Food, housing, clothes, transportation, entertainment, education, whatever not, a lot of different things. And the composition of this basket is usually stable for a number of years, whereas the prices actually change. So the cost of this basket changes almost every year, often every year. Whereas the actual composition of what are the things uh, that a typical consumer is assumed to buy is only revised once in a, a number of years. For this class, let's have a look at um, how do we actually calculate producer price index I will keep things simple, just to prepare you for your tests a little bit. So just like we had in our real GDP example, there are base years that are usually chosen by statistical agencies. And for the base year, we assume that the index that reflects the cost of that consumer's basket is going to be equal to 100 for the base year whatever is the actual cost of the basket is. So let's just say, for example, our um, base year is, say, 2015. Uh, let's say, for example, we're also looking at years 2018 and 2019. And let's just say, for uh, simplicity's sake, uh, that consumers only buy two products, just for example. Apples, to eat something, and um, pants to put something on. And let's say, for example, the quantities that the basket includes didn't change within this period of time from 2015 through to 2019. So the quantities that a typical consumer is assumed to buy is, let's say, a 20 apples per month or whatever is the period and the two pairs of pants. In this table over here, I'm going to write down the prices 
of those products that would be checked by the statistical agency. Let's say a price of an apple in 2015 was $3 and the price of a pair of pants is let's say, $12. Uh, let's say in 2018 uh, that price of an apple was say, $5 and $6 in 2019 and pants costed let's say um, $24 in 2018 and say $26 in 2019. So how do we calculate CPI? for our year 2019 and also how do we calculate inflation that we've um, experienced during 2019 first of all we need to start with the cost of those baskets the cost in the year 2015 the cost in the year 2018 and in and the cost in the year 2019 the cost is of course going to be equal to price multiplied by the quantity then we sum up all of the products, in this case only two. The cost of the basket in the base year is $300, whereas the cost of the basket in the years 2019 and 18 has changed. CPI in 2015 is of course equal to 100 because that is the base year. CPI in 2018 would be equal to the ratio of the cost in that year, in this case 2018, to the cost of the base year's basket times 100, which in this case is 580 divided by 300, and all of that multiplied by 100. So the CPI in 2018 is 193.3, and CPI in 2019 would be the cost of the basket in uh, that year 2019 over the cost of the basket in the base year. And all of that times 100, 213.3. And lastly, to calculate inflation during 2019, inflation is equal to a percentage change in CPI. For a percentage change, we take the current year minus the previous year, all of that divided by the value in the previous year, and all of that multiplied by 100%. So that's 10.3% inflation. There you go, a quick explanation for you of inflation, price levels, indices that we use inflation, and how do we calculate all those values related to these concepts.